Welcome to The Daily Forecast, October 7th, 2021. I'm Angie Lau, Editor-in-Chief of Forecast News, covering all things blockchain. Well, India has crowned its second crypto unicorn. That's after CoinSwitch Kuber's Series C funding round left the crypto exchange valued at 1.9 billion US dollars. We're going to take a look at the continuing rise in popularity of crypto trading in India and a whole lot more coming up. Let's get you up to speed from Asia to the world. First up, India's love of crypto shows no sign of stopping despite continuing uncertainty over government regulation. New investors getting on board in CoinSwitch Kuber's 260 million US dollar funding round include Silicon Valley's A16Z and Coinbase Ventures. Existing investors include Sequoia, Paradigm, Ribbit, and Tiger Global. They also have participated in the round. Forecast News Monica Ghosh has more from India. CoinSwitch Kuber has come a long way way since it set up in Bengaluru, India in 2017 with the aim of simplifying access to cryptocurrencies at a time when most Indians, including the government and central bank, were suspicious of them. Its 1.9 billion US dollar valuation means it is now ahead of India's first crypto unicorn, Coin DCX, which is valued at 1.1 billion US dollars. Just last month, it said it was the largest Indian exchange in terms of user numbers with over 10 million customers. That's a massive leap from the 1 million it had in November 2020. One expert told Forecast News, while 10 million is only a fraction of the population, it's huge given only 15 million people in India have to pay taxes. People who invest in crypto and people who pay tax because of gains from the stocks and uh, mutual fund investments are roughly the same size. That's a huge deal for crypto to have achieved in just a few years. And it will only grow from here. The newly crowned unicorn says it plans to use the funds to increase its user base to 50 million, launch new services like lending and staking, and offer a product geared towards institutional clients. For Forecast News, I'm Monica Ghosh, Pune, India. Meanwhile, Australian crypto investors have been reminded the tax man cometh even for you. In response to questions to an Australian Senate inquiry on fintech, the country's tax office said that crypto transactions are to be treated in the same way as share trading when it comes to taxation. But authorities are concerned that many would-be crypto taxpayers are actually not aware of that. Forecast News' Lachlan Keller reports from Melbourne, Australia. Under the ATO's guidance, private taxpayers are subject to the capital gains tax regime anytime they sell, swap or exchange cryptocurrency with the net capital gain or loss to be reported on their income tax return. This latest advice forms part of a campaign by the ATO to better educate people on their crypto tax obligations. One newcomer investor told us he was completely unaware of these obligations before we asked him to speak on them. But Kraken Digital Asset Exchange told Forecast News they do their best to make their clients aware of the obligations and believe other exchanges behave similarly. We urge all of our users and any um, other uh, other crypto aficionados in the space to, to speak to their qualified accountants when it comes to understanding tax obligations better. But um, the important thing is to keep records um, and keeping good records makes the job very easy. Michael Bassina of Piper Alderman told us the ATO has broad data gathering powers and that anyone trading with a digital currency exchange in the country should assume the agency has access to those trading records. For Forecast News, I'm Lachlan Keller from Melbourne, Australia. And finally today, let's just stick with the tax man here because Korea says it will not tax NFTs. Why? Well, that's a good question and one the country's finance minister initially stumbled over answering. At the National Assembly's annual review on Wednesday, Hong Nam Ki was asked about the amended income tax law, which includes taxing crypto income from January 1st of next year. When asked if that tax is ready to be applied next year, he said absolutely yes. But when asked about taxing NFTs, the minister was not so certain, initially saying there's still some controversy over whether NFTs count as virtual assets. However, he later rehashed that answer, saying that, well, right now, NFTs are not virtual assets, at least not considered virtual assets in Korea. Thus, they will not be taxed just yet. And that's the daily forecast from our vantage point right here in Asia. For more, visit forecast.news. I'm editor-in-chief of Forecast News, Angie Lau. Until the next time.